Gabriela Spencer Bonilla. I am a third year internal medicine resident at Stanford. At Stanford, I've been doing work on large databases, so big data projects within cardiology and cardiovascular prevention, as well as some work in smaller chart reviews in amyloid cardiomyopathy. I've worked with two researchers. The first is Dr. Fatima Rodriguez. She's a preventive cardiologist who does many things. The work that I've done with her focuses on prevention in elderly patients. The second researcher I work with is Dr. Kevin Alexander, and he is a heart failure specialist. The work that I do with his group revolves around amyloid cardiomyopathy. It's a really debilitating and life-limiting disease. My name is Keon Pearson. I'm now a first year intern in internal medicine here at Stanford. My interest spans the breadth of healthcare disparities by ethnic and socioeconomic minorities. I had the wonderful opportunity to work with two excellent mentors here at Stanford. One was Marcella Alsan, who has a dual appointment in economics and medicine. And the other was Garrick Owen, who is actually a community physician based in Oakland. And we were working on a project that asked the question, does patient-physician race concordance, that is to say, having the same race between the patient and the physician, result in increased uptake of recommended medical care and increased trust expressed between the patient and the provider. My name is Sarah Waliani. I'm a second year internal medicine resident at Stanford. During my time in residency, I've been doing research in the field of cardio-oncology, looking at adverse cardiac events from cancer therapies with Stanford oncologist, Dr. Joel Neal, and cardiologists, Dr. Ron Wittelez and Han Zhu. My research has been and has involved a prospective study, a translational study, and multiple retrospective studies, all looking at adverse events of cancer therapies, specifically immune checkpoint inhibitors, additionally, some targeted therapies that are used for non-small cell lung cancer. I really was looking for a program that was gonna train me in medicine rigorously, but was also open to changing the way that we practice medicine and open to different ideas about how things could be best done in our hospital. In addition to having access to some of the brightest minds in medicine, engineering, computer science, we also have an infrastructure of investors and capitalists who are very, very sophisticated in their assessment of the science and who can connect the science to real-world opportunities for market development. The mentors that I have found here have really helped me to find projects that have set me up for both short and long-term success, projects that we were able to publish um, even during my intern year. So I think the reason why it's so easy to do innovative and creative research here is because it's really part of the ethos of the program to push boundaries to do new things. The multidisciplinary collaboration is truly one of Stanford's biggest assets. Stanford is such an interesting place because it's an incredibly diverse location and for me as someone who comes from an underrepresented background in medicine it is so refreshing to be surrounded by diverse communities and to be in a place where diversity is truly honestly celebrated and where I don't feel out of place at all. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.